Well, let's discuss this difference between displacement and distance just a little bit more to make it just crystal clear. Let's say that using our example from before, you're at your house, there's a school, um, that distance is two kilometers between your house and the school, but let's say you have a friend who lives over here, the opposite direction of the school. And let's say that that is a distance of one kilometer away from your house. Well, we'll say 1.0, you know, keep that significant figure uh, thing going on. And I'm writing really awful today, but let's fix this. Now, in terms of our frame of reference, we can't call this 1.0. Because it's going to go against what we already called 1.0. And again, in our frame of reference, we think of it typically as a number line or a coordinate system. And so if we called this 0 and 1 and 2, then this, being in the reverse direction, is a minus 1. It's got a position of minus 1, minus 1 kilometer. And so... Now, this becomes important if we take trips other than just going from our home to school. So let's take a scenario. You go from home. For some reason, you go pick up your friend at their house. And then you walk all the way to school. In that case... The way a physicist thinks about this is you started here. And if we talk about the scenario being defined as you going from your home, and yeah, you went to stop your friend's house, but you're going from your home to school. If that's the entire scenario, then yeah, you started here. Yeah, yeah, you were over here for a little bit. But according to the way we defined the trip, you ended up over here. So according to displacement, your displacement would be x2 minus x1, 2 minus 0, 2.0 minus 0, again, sig figs. positive 2.0 kilometers, which was exactly like before when we just went from home straight to school. Because when we define displacement in physics, it's from the starting point to the ending point, no matter how you get there. You can go direct or you can go off the pathway. We're not off the pathway, but you can take another, another route. What is different here, though, is distance travel. You went from home to your friend's house to school. The displacement is positive, too, from there to there. The distance is, well, I walked a kilometer. Doesn't matter about direction. I walked another kilometer back. Total of two. I walked two more. So the distance traveled during this trip is four kilometers. So be careful. Be careful about how you handle distance and be careful how you, ha how you handle uh, displacement. One more example. Let's say another day you walk from home to school and then back to your friend's house. And we're gonna define that as our, as our trip. From your house, to school, and back to your friend's house. So in that case, we still start at home. X1 is zero, that's our initial position. And the way I'm defining this trip is I'm saying my final destination is my friend's house. And in this case, uh, 
we would go again x2 minus x1 x2 is the minus 1 position and we start at 0 our displacement is negative 1 kilometers or 1 kilometer to the west but our distance traveled was extensive. We went from home to school back again. That's two kilometers plus another two kilometers is four kilometers plus one more kilometer. That's five kilometers of distance. All right, I lied. One more example. And yes, I, I, I'm probably over overdoing it here, but I, I want to say this. What if, and we can do this, what if we say the trip wasn't from home. What if for whatever reason, maybe we didn't walk that day, maybe in the morning we got a ride to school from somebody, but in the afternoon we were told we have to walk home. And before you walk home, you are going to just actually go hang out at your friend's house. So you're not even going to go home, you're going to go from school, you're going to go to your friend's house. What's the displacement? Well, it's pretty easy to see you're going to go a total of three kilometers backwards to the west, negative. But mathematically, I want to show you what happens here. So if we say, all right, we're going to define this trip as we, we started here at school and we ended here at our friend's house. Okay. Minus 1.0, minus positive 2.0 minus three kilometers or three kilometers to the west. So when you do this, you're going to have to be careful of your signs when you put in your x and your, uh, your x values because that's going to make the difference in terms of telling the reader what direction is the motion. Okay?